hey guys welcome back to my channel ag motion designs and in today's video we are going to create this creative text animation inside of after effects without using any third party plugin so if you are new to this channel then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates so without wasting any more time let's get started So as always here we are in Adobe After Effects let's create a new composition I'll call it as main animation width is 1920 height is 180 frame rate is 30 and duration I'm going to choose let's say up to 10 second long and background color is black color and simply hit ok then go to choose grid and guide option and hit on title selection for the resolution I'm going to choose quarter resolution for now like this now we will type whatever text we want I'm going to select this text and for the font I'm going to choose Oswald but you are free to choose any font you want. I'm going to type my text over here. Let's type motion like this. Select this font and whatever font you are going to choose make sure to choose light or extra light version of that font first. Now let's select this font. Let's go to the paragraph and make sure that your paragraph should be center text like this then go to the character menu and over here we will have this stroke i have chosen this white color for the stroke and stroke width is one pixels if you haven't uh, chosen this stroke so you can you will get something like this then simply double click on it and you can choose your color and simply hit ok and then select one pixels now select this text press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center Go to the align tab, align it horizontally and then align it vertically. Press S for scaling option and scale it at appropriate size you want. Then you can select this text. Then what we are going to do, we are going to animate two properties. One is tracking and one is stroke. So let's see how we can do that. Select this stroke and go to the animate menu and we will get this option called tracking. And if you increase and decrease the tracking amount, you will get something like this. So let's initially I'm going to stick with this minus 10 value and I'll create one keyframe. Go to the add menu, not add menu, but let's go to the animate again and we are going to choose stroke width and we will create one keyframe over here. Now let's go to around one second and I'm going to increase the stroke width somewhere around like this and we are also going to increase this tracking amount also. Let's make the stroke width 20 or let's say 18 and let's make this tracking amount 10 or let's say 12 like this and i think 10 should be good so i'm going to stick with 10 and let's go to the start so we will get this kind of animation now select those keyframe and hit f9 go to the graph editor right click and choose edit speed graph select those key graphs by holding shift move this handle over here and move this handle over here so if you hit play we will get something like this now go to around let's say 2.15 frames let's select this keyframe hit ctrl c ctrl v select this hit ctrl c ctrl v select all the keyframes right click keyframe assistance time reverse keyframes so we'll get something like this now select all of them and let's move them somewhere around over here so my animation is gonna start from one second like this and then like this Let's select those keyframes and I think we don't need to change the position of them so I'll keep it as it is like this. Now select this keyframe I mean this text layer press ctrl shift c and I'll call it as text animation and hit ok then press ctrl y to create solid background and hit ok go to the effect and presets panel and we will apply a gradient ramp effect so simply type ramp so you will get this gradient ramp and double click to apply instead of linear ramp i am going to choose radial and select this anchor point i mean start of ramp and let's move this over here and let's move this one over here like this and we will swap these colors select this press ctrl shift c and i'll call it as map and move all attributes into the new composition and simply hit ok and i'll hide this Select this text animation comp, go to the effect and presets panel and we will apply time displacement effect. Double click to apply and choose your map layer. 
so now if you play this animation from the start we will get this kind of animation over here now uh, i'm what i'm gonna do i'm gonna select hit ctrl a to select all of them i'll press ctrl shift c then i'll call it as final text and hit ok and select this hit ctrl d to duplicate it and apply find edge effect on it and we will invert this select this text hit ctrl d again let's delete this find edge effect and apply fill effect on it select this text hit ctrl d and we will delete this fill effect also now let's go to the start hit page down button two times select this layer and move this over here again page down button two times sorry let's go to the start and let's move this over here now select all of them alt open bracket let's go to the start and let's move this over here so now if i hit play i'll get this kind of animation over here if you see this thing in full resolution you will get something like this it will take a little bit time to load this animation but final output will be awesome like this okay now along with that if you want to add some background elements then you can add that also so i'll press ctrl y to create solid background i'll move this over here i'll go to the effect and presets panel and i'll apply fractal noise effect on it like this increase the contrast and decrease the brightness to somewhere around like this and complexity i'm going to choose 2 and let's increase this again let's make this complexity 4 so not much more like this okay and i'll click on this evolution tab and type time into 400 like this so along with this we will get this extra background animation also like this okay now right click new and create one adjustment layer and over here i'm going to apply posterize time effect and frame rate i'm going to choose 14 let's make this third resolution so we will see this animation properly and if you want select all of them this text and you can increase the size of the text also so we will get this kind of animation for our text so yep this is how you can create this kind of animation with the help of adobe after effects so i hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial and if you like this tutorial then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates and if you want to create some more interesting animations like this then check out these two videos i'll see you in my next video until then stay tuned